Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel Tech with KG. I just want to say that this is going to be a speculative type video, and this is going to be some sale prices that aren't actually reflective of the sale prices right now. This is going to be just like, is this going to happen type video? Um, and, and this is based off of what has happened with this website in the past. So if you guys have watched my stream already, you sort of know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to break it down even more and I'm going to get into some of the Black Friday uh, psychology and what's going on with the pricing and how that works and why sometimes buying early is going to benefit you. But I want to say one thing first that the A90J is 100% speculative on the price drop. So what are we talking about here today? We're talking about some of these prices. Let's go ahead and list the prices right now. So these are going to be the prices that were on the stream that I had today. And I want to say the reason why I said this is because the retailer that I listed, I have seen the price drops before and they were reflected onto Best Buy, Costco and Amazon. And so that's really important to know that I seen 1299 C1 55 inch about a month ago, maybe even two months ago. And now what are we seeing? The 1299 55 inch C1. I also saw the 1099 48 inch C1. So that's something you guys want to keep in mind that these prices can happen, but I got to admit some of them do seem a little far fetched. So I'll get into which ones could be realistic and which ones uh, I wouldn't maybe get your hopes up for, but there's still hope. And so I want to introduce you guys to a website that I use all the time. I don't know if you guys have used it before, but if you haven't, Go ahead and put this in your favorites because this is going to help you when buying any sort of product on Amazon or any product that's listed on Amazon that you're trying to buy on Best Buy or Costco. This is a really good price checking tool. It's camelcamelcamel.com. So that's three camels and then .com. And what's great about this website is you can just type in the product that you're looking for and then you can see the price history on Amazon from it. And what's great about the Amazon price history is that it's reflected of Best Buy, Costco, and Amazon. And why is this? Well, pretty much any retailer is going to be reflected because the retailers themselves aren't the ones setting the prices on these TVs. And I have to make sure you guys know that. Who is setting the price on the TVs is the manufacturers. That's right, the manufacturers are setting these prices. So when you see Black Friday sale prices for TVs, the manufacturers themselves are setting the prices. One caveat to that is that Best Buy could offer a gift card with it. Same thing with Amazon. They could offer a credit card offer like 10% off with your purchase, that kind of thing, or 10% back with your purchase, that kind of thing. But what we won't see is a Best Buy have an exclusive price on something. Or what we won't see is Costco have an exclusive price on something. We won't see the uh, Amazon have an exclusive price on something. The exception to that is maybe Costco because they sort of get away with having their own SKU and sometimes manufacturers will treat them a little bit different. But typically, you don't see this that much. And I haven't really seen it that much being in this industry and having sold TVs working at Best Buy when I did back in the day. I paid attention to prices a lot. So this is something that I have to say is definitely something you want to look at. This website is going to show you when is the best time to buy for you and make sure that you're getting the lowest price that it's ever been. With this website, let's take a look at the Sony A80J 65 inch, for example. This is one of the more popular TVs and one of the most requested TVs in um, on this channel from people having questions and rightfully so, it's a really good TV. So this and the C1 is probably the most requested TVs and we can see that the A80J 65 inch is $2,200 right now, so $2,198 at Amazon.com. And so what we can see with the A80J's pricing here is that between September 30th and October 22nd, this price has been $1,800, $1,798. So if you're familiar with this channel and you pay attention to the community tab, I showed you when the price dropped on this. So yeah, like I was saying, the, the great thing about this website is that you can see that, yeah, it dropped. It dropped to 1800 and it probably will drop again before Black Friday. Typically what we see is the manufacturers will raise up the prices in order to look like it's dropping the price for Black Friday or for Black Friday sales. Because what do we see with these TV manufacturers again? Typically we don't see the Black Friday day sale. We don't see the Thanksgiving day sale from these retailers. 
from the manufacturers on the retailers. But what we do see is the whole entire month, or at least the first week or second week, you'll see it start in November. And it'll run through. And so what the great thing about this is the places that do have the price match guarantee policy, then you can go ahead and match those prices. You know, no problem now. Because the only days that they don't price match is going to be on Black Friday itself and then on the Monday after Black Friday. So Cyber Monday and the Black Friday itself. Any days before that, you're good. You're good to go. So um, don't worry about that. You're good to go. So um, just remember that when you are looking at these TVs. Because I'll say this. Take a look at the 77-inch A80J price that I just displayed on the screen. If it does get to that price if it gets to 25.99 um and and what we what did we see a few weeks ago we saw it at 3000 really good deal so um if you see it drop to 25.99 it's flying off the shelves it will sell out at 25.99 there's no doubt i believe it will sell out that's just my opinion I, but like at 25.99 how could it not sell out that's a really good deal that's probably one of the best deals that we've seen on a 77 inch tv and especially a 77 inch tv of that caliber like you know it's kind of sell out i think right what do you guys think in the comments let me know and uh the other thing i saw so let's let's take a look at more uh camel camel data so let's see a9g is the master series from 2019 when this came out, it was $4,500 and it quickly dropped to $3,700. We see this on the Master Series. It drops really quickly right after it comes out. Um, this year, it only dropped a little bit, but it did drop from its original retail price. And we see this thing out there saying the Master Series doesn't really go on sale. You know, that's kind of our mindset. We think that the Master Series don't really go on sale. But we can see that this year that the Master Series 2019, the A9G came out, we can see that in October, right before October, it dropped to 3,500 um, from its uh, original drop. So it did drop 200 bucks. And then somewhere in November, it dropped another $200. So that gives us hope that the A90J could drop. And the reason why I point this out is because we haven't seen a master series um, with the multiple sizes since the A9G. So this is the only data we really have to go off of. So that's the data that I'm going to go off of. And I'm going to hope that, you know, maybe the A90J does drop in price so that you guys who want the A90J can get that price. So hopefully you guys can get that price. And who knows, maybe that price is a pipe dream. And if it is, and if I'm inciting false hope for you guys, I deeply apologize. That's not my intent with this video. It's just to show you and raise awareness to what's going on. I don't want you guys to buy something that's extremely overpriced and then be disappointed if it doesn't drop. So it's really important to understand that, okay? Now, the next thing that I'm gonna cover here is Black Friday models. Watch out for them, because what do we see on Black Friday drop, you know, on actual Black Friday days? The Black Friday models. Why? Because they have been created for the retailers to sell on Black Friday. So the QN84A, uh, I don't know nothing about it. I don't know much about it, but I know that it just popped up right before Black Friday. And that's a bad sign. And it's a weird model number. And what I mean by a weird model number is I mean that there's the QN90A and then there's the QN85A. And this 84A just came out of nowhere. That's a bad sign. That means that it's a Black Friday model, which means that it could be kind of like thrown together. You know, typically Black Friday models kind of cut some corners somewhere. So what did they cut? You know, that's something that I personally don't want to find out if I'm buying a TV. Because we all know that when manufacturers cut corners, there has, you know, there's, there's some bugs, there's some mistakes. There's something, there's something. And I promise you that with this TV, something will come up with it. And that's kind of how it's been with these Black Friday models. So I want to caution you guys to the weird model numbers. Just kind of stay away from them. <laughs> like just... The best bet is to not buy them. So yeah, if you were watching the stream and you felt like you were misled or something by the prices, I apologize. So I just wanted to state that out there for you guys that you know, that's not my intent. You know, I'm just trying to create some conversation 
and engage with the community. I love doing these types of videos. I hope you guys love them as well. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video. I'll do more of them. And if you guys think that the prices are going to drop on the Sonys, let me know. I need to hear your thoughts. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to watch more videos on Sony TVs, I have made a lot of them this year. I covered the A80J and the A90J extensively with reviews and side by side. So check those out right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.